session today, you'll be creating your own book, your very first electronic book. So you've got a, a Macintosh computer connected to your iPad. There are a number of staff here that will be floating around to help you with this process. So if, if you get stuck or you have a question, just put up your hand and someone will come around here. Okay? And I'll slowly go through the steps. So an electronic book. can have a variety of interactive content on it. You can start from level one, which is just text only. So you can have an electronic book that's just text. There's not very much interactivity with text. Then you can move to level two, where there's web links. So that's a bit of interactivity. You can click on a link and it'll jump out to a web page. Then we move to level three with some images where you can zoom in, uh, you can flick through images. Then we can go to four, which is video content in a book. Then finally on five, there is interactive images, quizzing, study cards. So you can create an iBook anywhere along this line. It can just be a one, but the ideal is to create up to level five, where there is engaging interactive material. That's what you'll be doing this morning. We'll be working on level five. You may want to start out on level one, two, or three to begin with. Eventually, you'll move up to level five. That's the ideal position to be for the students. There are a lot of free interactive books on the iBook store. This one we played with yesterday, the gallbladder. That gives you an example of what's the capabilities of this software. Before I start talking about the software in detail, I'll just show a short little video clip. With the new iBooks Author app, everyone from publishing houses to individual writers can use the power of the Mac to create and distribute professional, multi-touch iBooks quickly and easily. You can make just about any kind of book with iBooks Author. Start with one of the beautiful Apple Design templates. They help your book look great right away. And it's simple to customize your own templates too. You can type directly into your book or just drag and drop text from any pages or Word document. The layout automatically expands and adds new pages to fit all your copy and formats it to match your template. You don't have to do anything. And you can quickly choose different styles and customize them however you'd like. When you want to add other elements to your book, it's as easy as dragging and dropping files from your desktop. Drop in a photo for the cover. Or you can even add an intro movie. Your text flows smoothly around the graphics on your pages and instantly updates as you move them. Your books really come alive when you add dynamic, multi-touch elements to help expand your story. We call them widgets. For example, to make a photo gallery, just add the gallery widget. Then drag and drop your images onto it. You can add titles and captions, and they're instantly formatted to your template. You can include separate captions for each image, too. Add other widgets to your book to include interactive objects, full screen video, complete keynote animations, and dynamic 3D images. There's even an HTML widget that can use web-based data, so examples in your book are always up to date. You can use the chapter review widget to create review sections in your book that are perfect for textbooks. These hands-on study guides let readers test their knowledge right in a chapter. While you're working, you can preview your book on iPad at any time and everything works just like the finished book. You can also preview your book in Portrait View, where text becomes the focus, and all of your interactive widgets are displayed as thumbnails on the left. When you're ready to publish your book, you can export it in a variety of formats right from here. You can also submit it to the iBook Store, or even share it on iTunes U. iBooks Author makes it possible for anyone to create and distribute gorgeous, interactive books made just for iPad.
Okay, so this is a, a brief overview of iBooks. So the task for this morning, you'll be creating a book called The Human Eye. It will contain four main chapters. A chapter on eye anatomy, histology, pathology, and then a quiz section at the end. And we're going through some of the most important points in creating this book. To start with, once you open iBooks Author, you are presented with a series of templates. The template we'll be using today is this one here called the modern type, one with number one on it. Then what appears is the iBooks author. So I'll just walk you through some of the features here. This plus button up here is when you want to add, because in real life plus means to add. So if you want to add a new chapter, a new page, or a new section, this is where you go. This first little icon here is the cover. This is where you have your cover of your book. So we'll drag an image onto that, and then we'll add a title called Human Eye Study Guide. You can include a video. We won't be doing that today. This table of contents and a glossary. So these are all your pages down here in your book. Up the top here, this is a, some toolbars can be revealed. The formatting bar. So this is, if you want to add text, you just drag that onto your page. You can add some shapes a table, various charts, and some widgets. Widgets allow you to, to create interactive content. We'll be working through about four or so widgets today. This preview button here, once you create content in iBooks Author, you have your iPad connected to your computer, you tap that preview button, and that file goes across to your iPad and you can view the book in your iPad, just like you saw in the video. Across there is the inspector. This is where, for example, the text allows you to change the text alignment, the text color. The main ones we're using today is the text, the graphic, and the widget tool. So those three tools we're using today. You've also got a media tool that allows you to look at all the media like videos and photos and sounds. Color, you can change colors with that color palette. And the A is for fonts, to change the font size, the font type. So what I want you to do now is to start up iBooks Author. And I'll just demonstrate how we do that. So on your desktop is a folder called iBook Files. If I open that folder, you've got the chapters. Chapters 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There's the cover, and this is the actual iBook file that's on your iPad. So the, each folder, if you open chapter 1 folder, this contains all the graphics and text that you need today. So you won't be doing a lot of typing. I've already created the text for you. So it's mainly dragging and dropping both the graphics and the text today. And so forth for all the rest of the chapters. There's all the files that you'll need. And in the cover folder is just the graphic. That's that image of a, a lady's eye that we'll be using for the cover. So, Locate the icon that looks like a book with a pen on it and double click it to start. Once it starts up, you'll be presented with this screen. So double click on modern type. It looks like yes, it's about 90% of people are there. So that for those people who are still catching up, uh, Mario's floating around to help you. So what I, w everyone good? Okay. what I want you to do then is to click on the book title. The book title. The book title, title is Human
Human Eye Study Guide. I just want to open up the folder, the what you can also do here is down the bottom there type your name. So you are the author of this book. We need to change the colour of the human eye from black to white. So you need to highlight that text. Then tap on the inspector and tap on T, T for text. You can see the black box there saying the text is black. If I click on that, I can choose white. You don't have to choose white, you can choose another color, this color. So if you'd like to look at the screen, I'll go through the next stage. What we're going to do is to give a cover, an image to this book. So um, open up your folder and choose the folder called cover. Open the cover folder. Are you ready to do this? Let me show you how to drag an image across onto, the, onto your page. So if you watch the screen, the image is called eye cover. You can see eye cover just JPEG just here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to drag that file across to this point here, not on top, this point here. So if I drag it across, you'll see a blue line appear. See the blue line? I then let the mouse go and it drops that image onto the book. You can then resize the word study guide. Under font. So we've got a cover. Now we're going to create a chapter. So I'm going to go through the process of creating a chapter, your very first chapter.
when you first start iBooks Author, it already has the very first chapter created, but we want to change the look of that chapter. So just click on this chapter icon here. And for the heading, or the title, just, just title Eye Anatomy. Oh no, sorry. The, the, want you to write the word uh, emergency. All right. So what? Just come to this. This is going to be the first image the student sees. So it's going to be a case uh, of a trauma, traumatised eye, that where the person has been hit with a tennis ball straight in the eye. So we're going to put the image there and we're going to put a picture of a tennis ball down the bottom as well. So in your folder labelled Chapter 1, you'll see two files. One is the ultrasound image. You can resize that. And the other one drag on the top is the tennis ball. Is that? Okay, what's happened is that this tennis ball has got a white background. We want to make this tennis ball blend into the green background. On your computer, if you click, click in this toolbar here and hold down or do a, do a right click, just a, hold down the control T at the same time, select custom toolbar. This particular one here called Instant Alpha, drag that onto this palette up here. I think everyone's got that on the, on the menu bar. So what you need to do is then 
click on the tennis ball so it's been selected then click on it, alpha come down to the white area hold your mouse down and drag you can see the the area that's going to be removed is highlighted in pink. If I let go, the ball now does not have a white background. You need to select the graphic first. What you can do next is just make the tennis ball itself smaller by selecting the tennis ball and dragging it until it becomes smaller. So that was that's the finished product. That's you should have emergency as a title, a tennis ball, the eye image and a little bit of text. 27 year old female, trauma to the left eye by a tennis ball. That's the first chapter completed. If you, if you drag that over there, now what we're going to do, we're going to view our two pages that were created on our iPad. So what we need to do is to tap on the preview button, the very top preview, and that will then transfer these two pages across to your iPad and you can view, see how they've turned out. 